Hey guys, it's me, Tina Marie with Tina's World. Today's video is actually my VSG update. We're in the car. I'm actually waiting on the kids and I have like maybe 10 minutes before they get here. So I figured I'd update you guys on my last round of appointments, my second nutritionist visits. Yes. So I have one more remaining in the schedule for August the 21st. On August the 21st, they submit my paperwork to insurance. It takes about five business days and boom, then I can have my surgery. Yay! So some people are saying that you don't have to do the liquid diet for two weeks because some of the people at my surgeon's office, they only are doing three-day liquid diets and then their surgery is the following Monday. So I'm like, is it really supposed to be a two-week liquid diet? Like people that have VSG, let me know in the comments below because some people even at my doctor's office that's getting VSG, they did the liquid diet for three days. Some did it for four days. Some did it for a week. The whole point of it is to shrink your liver. And I know when I got my gallbladder, removed they put me on a clear liquid diet for a day and then they removed my liver shrunk and they removed my gallbladder the next day so they didn't make me do a two-week liquid diet so I don't know y'all let me know in the comments below like what's up with that let me know um, so let's get to stats when I went to the doctor y'all I was so freaking nervous because I was like I want to be goal I want to be at goal I want to be goal if you guys know goal for me is 256 so that is the goal for me to have the surgery It's actually 256.8 is my ultimate number I have to be at so I went to the doctor and when I went to the doctor last week y'all I was 256 flat Yes, 256 flat. That means I'm 0.8 under the goal that they wanted me to be at for the surgery. So I'm already there and I have, I'm sorry about the glare guys, and I still have about a month and a half to go. So I have about a month and a half before my next appointment because again, my next appointment isn't until August the 21st. Yeah, August the 21st. So that's not is that a month and a half that's about five weeks so I got five more weeks and my goal when I get there is just to lose a pound a week because I have PCOS so losing weight can get difficult at times and for me these times for some reason they have gotten even worse so a pound a week is my goal up until when I get there so when I go back for our next appointment I do want to be at 250 flat um, when I go so that way I'll be um, way under the goal they wanted for me and she said like when I come for that appointment more than likely that day I will start the liquid diet um, and be on my liquid diet to my surgery because guess what they didn't give me my surgery date I thought they were gonna give me my surgery date but she said no she she couldn't give me my surgery date. all she could tell me is gonna be the first week of September so guys, I am having VSG sometime the first week of September. It kind of POs me that no one can give me the date when I know my coworker, they gave her her date um, and they gave it to her like a month and some change in advance. And it's like, I'm not going to know my date until uh, with the two weeks within. And it's like, I already know how this is going to go. I'm going to get the date and then like two days later okay liquid diet we're gonna put you in surgery on monday i know that's how my stuff is gonna go i know i was gonna go because every surgery goes like that for me and i'm just like no prep time no 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 one a month in advance why i didn't get to do it you know and it is what it is but so that was that um i passed the psych eval i passed the um barium swallow which I told you guys in the last video, the barium swallow is absolutely horrible. Um, and then I had the stress cardiovascular test. I passed that too. So all tests is passed. Weight loss has been met for VSG. I have, I'm just waiting. That's basically what I'm doing now. I am just waiting for my surgery. I have met all my qualifications. I just have to get this last appointment done. And the last appointment again is the 21st of next month. And then I'm done. Like, done i cannot believe i'm saying this that but i have met all my qualifications for surgery and your girl is having vsg oh my god i'm so excited and i'm nervous at the same time but seeing all the success stories seeing all the people losing weight is so encouraging um one thing i've been doing is actually increase my workouts i no longer strive for 10,000 steps a day i actually strive um for about 20,000 steps every day uh today i'm already at 15,000 um almost at 15,000 is what my fitbit says so 
is 743 and I'm at 14,867. I have been doing consistently 20,000 a day and I have been on the leaderboard um, and winning all the Fitbit competitions that I have been in. And the reason why is because I'm doing 20,000 steps a day. So I'll, um, I just wanted to get on here and give you guys this quick update. So all goals are met. Everything's done for surgery. I'm just waiting around. It ain't nothing like waiting around for something. So I'm just, I'm waiting for the surgery. Um, and I figured while I'm waiting, I'm just going to keep pushing myself in the exercise arena. I stopped eating hard stop seven o'clock. Um, and I start eating at one o'clock in the afternoon. So I fast a uh, majority of the time and I have a seven hour eating window. So that's what I'm doing with that. Um, Hmm. Do I have anything else? That's it guys. So your girl's set for VSG. I'm just waiting around and When I get the next update, I'll let you guys know it's not really nothing else to update at this point since all the goals have been met um, I'm just really excited for this journey because having PCOS losing weight does get really hard even though I lost 70 pounds on my own um, It's just it's hard and it's really hard to keep it down. It is extremely hard, um, especially when you're insulin resistant. It's, it's terrible. So I'm excited. I'm excited for this change because I've been watching videos. I mean, some of the girls three months out, they're losing between 50 to 90 pounds within the first three months. And all I keep thinking, oh my God, the first three months, that's the beginning of December. By the beginning of December, I'm going to be in Wonderland as long as I stick to what I want to do. Because when I lay on the surgery table, my goal in my head is to be 249 pounds. If I can lay on the surgery table at 249, then I know within the first three months, more than likely, I'm going to hit into Wonderland. Um, so by the beginning of December, I know I'm going to be into Wonderland and I'm no longer going to be in the 200s and that excites me because my drive is there i already know what i need to do i'm set in my mind that this is what i'm going to do i know a lot of my subscribers still don't understand why i'm doing this but when you have health issues and you're sick and tired of being sick and tired and you decide that you finally are going to make that step to help yourself and i think that's what's important that we learn to help ourselves because so many times we, we help each other, we help our families, we help, you know, people you don't even know, strangers, but we don't help ourselves. So it's time that we help ourselves. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm helping myself. I know I need to lose about 100 pounds. I need to lose 100 pounds if I want to give myself a full life on this earth because you only get one and this is my life to live and I want to live it to the fullest. Um, am I afraid of saggy skin? I'm not afraid of saggy skin because there is a surgery after you stay at your weight for about 18 months, a surgery that you can get. And when you get that surgery, um, it's like a mini tummy tuck or something like that because they get rid of the FUPA um, and it can be covered by insurance. So I want to be looking to get that covered by my insurance as well. Um, so I'm going to be doing that because uh, I know I'm, I really don't know I don't know if I'm gonna have loose skin yet I don't know I tone every day every day when I'm doing my walking and stuff I do toning exercises I tone my legs I tone my stomach I tone my butt I tone everything but when you have stretched the skin so much because y'all oh, I used to be at my highest 300 and something pounds like 300 and something pounds I cannot believe I was like I think my highest was 310 311 like three no longer in the twos my dude three three okay i used to be 300 something pounds and to be able to even say today that oh i'm two i'm 255 you know that's cool i like saying that because at one point i was 300 something pounds i remember when we came home one summer when we went to go visit my grandma in virginia i got on that scale y'all remember that video when we came back from my cross country trip i was 295 pounds 295 pounds crazy so you know i'm happy for all the success that i'm having and i just know it's going to get better from here so y'all that's the update on vsg 
I know if I can get some vlogs with kiddos and stuff, I'm going to try to in the next month to help pass the time, get vlogs up for you guys. But as you know, like me and Kenny, we do we are no longer together, but we do have split custody of the kids. So sometimes I have the kids, sometimes he has the kids, and sometimes it's just not it's just not good to film you know what i mean so i hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> remember rate comment subscribe if you're on your vsg journey comment below or if you have vsg or know someone has it let me know how their surgery went tell me their success stories tell me some tips i'm always listening um so i'll see you guys in the next one